Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at ModernFarmer.com. They got an article by Andrew Hayward brought to my attention, the FarmBot, a very interesting automatic farming device. I've done videos on other farming devices, other farming robots, but this one might be the most interesting, partly because it's open source. It's basically a CNC machine. It's got a couple of axes of control there. You got a control box, this arm that it rides across and then it moves up and down here and this whole armature can move along these tracks. Now they have an interesting software interface that it, they describe it like Farmville, the author of this article does, and a little sketch up. We'll go to their blog, what is the return on investment on a farm bot? That is always good when you're looking at farming equipment. And this one is really for a garden unit, $3,500 up front is the initial cost. They're hoping to get it down to $1,000. But at that price, they say it'll take about five years to pay off. But when you add in indirect costs like electricity and fuel to go to the store to buy vegetables, well then, versus store-bought vegetables, they say you can save about 1400 bucks a year. We'll go to their website here. Nice design of a website. You can see here pre-order starts in a couple days, July 1st. This is the device in action. It can has a little vacuum pump that can take seeds, pull them up, and then put them right in the ground. And you got the nice mulch bed, should suppress weeds, but this thing will pull the weeds from the garden. It will water the garden. It will also monitor conditions at all times, and you can just be updated based on the software interface. And again, all open source. You can get the design files, the source code, or full documentation and build your own. But I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that got a little bit more money than time or expertise in this and would rather just buy one. You can pre-order from farmbot.io. That's it for this uh, story. Of course, the links will be in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.